Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, my name is Greg Robertson. Scott uh, Hunter asked me to step in. He was going to be out at Airtrain for a couple of days and uh, said you guys really were excited about seeing this, ja this uh, new Jayco Seismic, this 4113. It's awesome. And I'm just going to, instead of pictures, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot this video real quick and uh, get it right off to you. And anyway, that way you can pause it anytime you want. Uh, I'm standing in your bathroom in the garage. It's not too bad, right? Big mirror. Good storage, nice medicine cabinet, good sink, you know, it's deep, it's wide, and a nice porcelain toilet. This is a decent shower, or it's not shower, excuse me, decent bathroom for the size of the room that we're in. We're going to close that off. I'm just going to back up here a little bit and watch my step. Because right there is your laundry plumbing, if you want that, and the entry door into the main house. Now above that, We've got a lot of storage, helmets, whatever we want to do up here, right? All of our gear, big TV, more storage, its own stereo back here, all of its own lighting controllers are up here in the ceiling, uh, the door to the in and out, of course, and then I'll swing backwards here. And I'm looking at a ladder system. That's for when the patio is down in the patio position. You've got a set of stairs to go in and out off of that patio. Uh, they do a three season garage door. This is kind of cool, right? Because now we can actually leave the patio and have something to lock it off. And we can do that with the three season patio doors. You can lock them off from the inside. So hopefully it's a deterrent for this. Uh, still a lot of great glass in here. Uh, we don't feel confined and uh, claustrophobic. They do do all the exhausts uh, for the uh, gas vents. So if we have gas fumes in here, we want to be able to draw those out. Those are the vents that do that. We just push it out. And then a big 13.5 air conditioner, a drop-in unit in here. Um, these LED lit chairs, when they're down and everything is cool, it's kind of neat looking to have those on. And then a big queen bed up there with a ladder to get to it. These are all power lift systems. So we're just going to press a button there. Everything's going to raise and lower. Put them wherever we want. If you're ready, we're going to go in the house. I think if you're like me, sometimes days get to be long days. We do a lot when we're out there camping and playing around. A lot of hiking, a lot of, a lot of boating, and that's how we are anyway. Uh, we spend all of our time at Great Fun Lake. But I know at the end of the day, uh, sometimes it's kind of nice just to come back and throw your feet up. Well, these all four are going to recline. Uh, they vibrate and massage. Uh, this is all Thomas Paine furniture. I'm gonna bring these down. We got power for you on both sides. Charge your phones, run your laptops, do whatever you want to do. More cup holders, but these are the cup holders you're probably going to use because these are heated and chilled. But just wonderful furniture. Big bay windows. Look at these things. And then we've got MCD shades throughout. So that's going to give us an option. We can either filter the light, there we go, or we can black out this whole window. I'll show you the benefit of those shades. So if you've had an RV before and you've dealt with tension blinds or Venetian blinds, this is a huge plus. Besides that, they're made right here in Texas. Uh, it's my hope that this TV is big enough. <laughs> it's huge. Uh, there's If you're a sports fan, whatever you like to do, we got a nice surround system in, installed for you on this. Fireplace, that's a heater, y'all. That's not just for aesthetics for those romantic nights. That's a great heater. It's quiet. It's running on gas. We're not burning up, you know, anything else. It's just, I mean, we're not electric, not gas. Uh, so we're not burning LP trying to heat up this house. The house is floor fit. It's a nice, even heat throughout. Jayco, giving us a couple options here. We can run off of the uh, one controller, which is just a nice pad to work from. That'll power up. We can do our lighting, our slide outs. There's owner's manuals, the awning, the leveling, it's all done throughout there. Uh, then of course, Jayco wants to make sure that you're covered. If that pad gets broken, lost, whatever, uh, we can come back in and do it on the hard switch as well. So the generator controls, fuel pump, all that's right in here for you. Slide outs, everything. Easy to read, easy to get to. Of course, I, I don't think you guys care two ditties about this patio, right? It's the coolest thing ever. So 1,200 pounds, protector, pump slip, 
Got all that fencing, keep the dog in. Come outside, we've got big power patio awnings that are going to come out and cover all this and keep us comfortable in the sun. And then, yes, inside of there is one more TV. So now we got TV in the shop, TV in the living room, TV outside here on the patio, and another one just like it in the living room or in the bedroom. Excuse me. Remember how to talk when it works. All right, and of course the coolest part, and Jayco did it right, we raised the kitchen. Uh, big pantry system right here. 25 cubic foot side by side, water filtration, air filtration, whirlpool, beautiful fridge, stainless steel. Uh, they went ahead and put in a Furion 2.0 cubic feet stainless steel convection bake microwave oven, a three burner stove with a high output burner, and then still a gas oven. A lot of folks would rather cook with the gas than with the uh, convection. Uh, solid surface, countertops throughout. Kind of get back here a little bit. Really gotten right with their colors. Square stainless steel sinks. Uh, huge cabinet down here for trash. This has more storage, I think, than my house does. It's just incredible. All the places you have to put stuff. A little gizmo right there. That's the inverter for your fridge. That's what that's going to power up. So when you're unplugged, you're heading down the highway, that inverter is going to cover that for you. We're almost there. I'm not going to keep you too long. Uh, kind of hard to film this a little bit right here, but you've got two wardrobe closets in this slide. One in the hall, one in the bedroom, uh, and then drawers beneath each. And then when you walk in, uh, the young lady got this nice medicine cabinet if I don't break it by pulling up on it too hard. But just a nice vanity area to get, get ready. Uh, they do, these are not shirt closets, these are shelf closets. A lot of folks look at that and think there should be a rod up there, but because of the radius corners, kind of hard to put a shirt rod in there. Uh, there's your big TV for the bedroom. We have USB plugs and chargers on one side, the other side of an outlet. The other side is just going to be just the 110 outlet. A ton of storage underneath the True Queen bed. I'll try to back away from that and get you that shot. Oops. Kind of hard to get in there. I'll try it from over here. There we go. So, the textured leather headboard, and then lots of storage underneath. I'm sure you guys can find things to put underneath here. There's lots of room. But the quiet, cool ACs, they're running full speed ahead. Here's the returns. And it is just ice cold in here right now. I wouldn't say ice cold, but it's quite comfortable. Uh, the bathtub is what's new and what to die for. That is a big bathtub, and not chintzy curtains either. You can tell just the texture of these. They're a beautiful bath system. Look at that hardware. Look at how it's just trimmed out. The homage do so well. Uh, big vanity mirror. Another solid surface countertop with a stainless steel sink, porcelain toilet, and then, of course, the main door going back out into the hall. Nice craftsmanship. I'm going to go ahead and walk right back out of here. I'm going to take you outside. Unless you get a view of the front. Now we haven't cleaned this thing at all, so forgive me. I promise when you take delivery. She'll be spotless. Get here. Come on, on in here. Look at all this storage. Access on both sides. Lots of pass through. And because we did the refrigerator or the kitchen above, we even had more access so a ton of storage and look at all that aluminum work you can just see it's all welded really nicely finished out you can see the ductwork coming in at least i think you can there it is so we get to keep our base heated and the furnace is on six point auto level you can tell it's hot there just look at all that water on the ground she is sweating like crazy trying to get cooled off uh, but there she is in the new front cap side patio, four-step entry on both doors. All too many companies cheapen that up and do a three-step back there. 
Uh, look at those power awnings all the way down. You're fully covered. You're totally in the shade all the time. When the back ramp is down, same thing. Big patio awning coming out the back. Just press a button, she'll come down. The spring systems that make these doors easy to put up and put down. We're not going to strain ourselves. Of course, the off door side, there's your, there's your big your big ladder right now we can get up there wouldn't say dance around but she's plenty strong to do whatever you need to do our fuel system for the toys we got a nice pump separate tank then we have a separate tank for the generator uh, big 16 inch load range e goodyear endurance tires these are a five-year warranty tire goodyear built in america and they are fantastic we do slide toppers we order them every time on these big seismics, they actually help reduce the temperature in that slide out. Now you can just kind of see here, there is decorative body to light up the underside of the coach uh, when we park there at night. So this gets pretty fancy and you can make it do whatever you want it to do. But mostly I'm down here to show you that macerator system, the Sanicon. Uh, that's going to be a grinder. It's going to take care of all that black tank stuff and uh, push it uphill if you need to. Like I said, nothing's been cleaned. You can still see the, the mud there from the trip down. Uh, slam latch doors on all of them. This is your exhaust coming off the backside. Jacob also does, you don't have to do to open this cabinet or this compartment door to run the leveling. They actually give you an outside controller or you can do it from inside. Uh, right up here, we're gonna put six batteries in this tray, y'all, six batteries. Uh, we want to be able to keep that refrigerator cold for a good long time. If power runs out, uh, we need to have that doing it. And, of course, your truck will charge those batteries, too. Generator on board is going to run two ACs, maybe three if we're lucky. Uh, cool part about that, you guys pull over an hour before you get somewhere, start the generator up, turn the ACs on. By the time you get to where you're going, the coach is cool inside. New cap on the front, LED lights, super sharp. I'm totally excited to see you all. Uh, See you Monday morning. I hope this was enough. If you have any questions, let me know.